Can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given the square, from this corner, let's draw a circle with a radius of 4 units. Now, from this vertex, let's draw a segment that is tangent to our circle that connects the side of the square. Now, let's call this segment as x, and the length of the side of the square is 4x. Now, the question is, what is the area of this square? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, given this figure, our goal is to find the area of the square. Now, I have only one solution to this question, but of course, there's a lot of way to answer this kind of question. And if you have your own solution, just comment your solution in the comment section down below. Alright? So first, my solution to this question is thinking outside the box because we have here a box or a square. So let's use thinking outside the box. So to start with, let's shrink this figure and then let's extend this segment right here and let's extend the side length of the square like this. So now let's call this total segment as y, why not? And since it is a square, so all of this side must be equal to 4x. Now from here, we can see two similar right triangles. The first one is this small right triangle. And the second one is this big right triangle. They are similar to one another. Alright, now let's go back to the small right triangle. And let's call this segment right here, this side, equals n. And again, why not? And then, we will use some ratio and proportion. So, we can say that the ratio of the base to its height must be equal to x over n. Now, using the big right triangle, it must be equal to the ratio of its base to its height also. So, this is equal to 4x, which is the base, and the height 4x plus n. Alright, now let's simplify this. First, let's divide both sides by x, and if we do that, we cancel out x on this numerator and on x on this 4x. So this simplifies to 1 over n equals 4 over 4x plus n. Next, let's multiply both sides by n. If we do that, we get 1 equals 4n over 4x plus n. Next, let's multiply both sides by 4x plus n. Now, let's solve for the value of n. So, let's subtract n on both sides. So, this will give us 4x equals 3n. Now, let's solve for the value of n in terms of x. So, divide both sides by 3. And sure enough, we get the value of n must be equal to 4x over 3. So, we can replace this n with 4x over 3. Alright. Now, we can now total the height of this big right triangle. So, we have 4x over 3 plus 4x. This simplifies to 16x over 3. Now, why is this important? Because we can now solve for the value of y in terms of x. So, how to do that? We will use the Pythagorean theorem. So, we have here y squared, the hypotenuse, equals 16x over 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 4x raised to the power of 2. Alright, now let's simplify. 16x over 3 raised to the power of 2, this will give us 256x squared over 9. And 4x raised to the power of 2, this will give us 16x squared. Now let's combine this. Let's multiply 16x squared to 9 over 9. This will give us 144x squared over 9. Now let's combine this. 256x squared plus 144x squared, this will give us 400x squared over 9. Next, let's get the square root on both sides to get the value of y in terms of x. And take note that y is a side length, 
so we only interested to positive value of y now on the left hand side this is just y and on the right hand side this 400 400 is 20 squared 9 is just 3 squared so if we get the square root of 20 squared x squared over 3 squared this simplifies to 20x over 3 and that is the value of y in terms of x so we can substitute this y with 20x over 3 now don't forget our goal our goal is to solve for the area of the square so we need to find out what is the value of this variable x now given the side length of this right triangle and the radius of the circle inside of it we can use this property that the radius of the circle inside a right triangle must be equal to a plus b which is the leg of this right triangle minus c which is the hypotenuse divided by 2 and we know all of this we have a b and c so we can replace a b and c like this so the side length 16x over 3 and 4x and the hypotenuse 20x over 3 also we know the radius of the circle inside our right triangle this is equal to 4 now using this equation we can now solve for the value of x so let's focus on this equation now let's multiply both sides by 2 next this 4x multiply this by 3 over 3 to make all this fraction similar so this will give us 12x over 3 now let's combine this this simplifies to 16x plus 12x minus 20x divided by 3 now 16x plus 12x this will give us 28x minus 20x this will give us 8x now we can also for the value of x let's multiply both sides by 3 and divide both sides by 8 so sure enough we cancel out 8 and we get that x equals 3 so x equals 3 since x equals 3 and the side length of this square is 4x so 4 times 3 this will give us 12 which is the side length of our square now going back to our figure a while ago and we know this x is 3 so we can replace this by 3 why not and our goal is the area of the square so this is just 12 squared and 12 squared we all know that this is just 144 therefore the area of this square must be equal to 144 square units and as always we are done